What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and welcome to another album review. Naturally for me, I'm going to have to review the newest album from 4 Minute titled Act 7 just because they are my favorite group. That is purely the only reason, right? We can, you know, say how awesome their how awesome hate is and that would be the reason but it's not if hate was a bet if i didn't like hate i'd still be doing an album review and i'd be telling you what i think about it because i think one as a fan of a group that you definitely have to be critical of the of the group that you love and the product that they put out otherwise you might not partic otherwise i don't know it's, it's kind of like the fans on one hand, you know, you want to love something unconditionally, but on the other hand, as a fan, you want it to be better and you want it to be good consistently. When it's bad, then, you know, you're disappointed and you want to say that it's, that it's you know, bad. But I don't have anything bad to say about Tate. I don't have anything particularly, I don't have anything bad even to say about the album in general. So we're going to talk about it. So let us talk about it. First off, in general about the album, then we'll talk a little bit about maybe one or two of the songs. So we're gonna talk about this this album in general. Now we compare this to the album that they released last year, and this is vastly dramatically different in sound and style than they released last year. Last year, crazy, their music was on that album was definitely up tempo, aggressive, you know, I don't know. It definitely had a lot of, you know, I don't I, po positive positive vibes positive beats it was you know high tempo really really fast paced it was fun music to listen to for the most part you definitely had a lot of points in that song in all of the songs that were you know really really you know happy bright you know positive sounding basically this song is this this album is the basic like base you know very very opposite basically the complete opposite of it you know these songs I would you know describe as in ad adjectives you know they are you know they, they they're they're thick they're grimy they're dirty they are just you know so focused on the low end of the music track whereas the previous album was focused more on the high end as far as you know sounds so where where this album focuses on that drum track the percussion you know instrumentation in this as, you know insofar as you can get percussion when you're you know, put to, putting together an electronic mix that doesn't specifically use actual instruments like, you know, most music is composed as these days. Um, you know, you get a really, really deep, heavy sound. And this album is definitely really, really heavy, which is the best description of what I'm about to say right here. This album is really, really heavy, whereas Crazy and that album was really, really light compared to this. And that's cool. I like that, you know, because they would what they could have done is they could have done the same thing that they did last year because last year was definitely one of their most popular songs most popular releases ever right this th that that was basically the height of their career and they could have done the same thing and done put out something that sounded similar to that that was familiar and people would have loved it as well and stuff but what they decided to do instead which is a thing that i think four minute does you know relatively frequently from release to release is they change and they don't change a little bit, they change a lot. Uh, I think that's a one characteristic that, that, that 4Minute has that, you know, a couple other groups in K-pop have, but maybe not, you know, but not most of them. Especially these days where, you know, groups find the thing that works and then release three songs or even more, you know, they're, they're just basically printing money. You know, there's no problem with that. Because, you know, if you do the one thing well, then that's good. You should do that. But the thing is, you know, 4Minute does something well, and then they decide for the next album, the next year, they're going to do something completely different. They're going to try something else. This is the company deciding it more than the members, I believe. But, you know, you, you get what I mean. So that is really, really awesome. And I just, you know, going into this, the, the hip hop or the, the hip hop EDM mashup that they were going for for this album, um, I wasn't particularly sure about just because, you know, the hip hop thing's not really my, you know, cup of tea and the you know edm is cool i like it it's really really great but i just don't like particularly listening to you know the instrument you know mix instrumental mixes and stuff like that whatever i can't listen to it on my own there has to be like a specific reason to listen to it uh, as a, where like i can't sit in front of my computer and just listen to that sort of stuff but you know they did a really really good job you know and there's definitely in this album songs that are more on the edm side and there's songs that are more on the you know, hip hop side 
Of course, you have to have a balance between that. You have to have some that are on one range or another. You know, that's the way it goes. And I really, really like it. Um, so there you go. Just my general thoughts. I love the album. So specific songs I want to pick out. Um, you know, I think Canvas is the song that, that I'm, again, I didn't write anything for this, which I should have, but you know, we're just doing this off the top of my head. But Canvas is the one song that I think that's, maybe it stands out more than the others to me just because I'm listening to it and I'm like, other than maybe the the rap verses that are in there, like everything in this song is like absolute EDM. It definitely is. And you know, you listen to an EDM song that has vocals in it, or a vocal part, and like every the the some of the verse the the, ver, the some of the verses, especially the chorus, are definitely like so EDM sounding. It is unbelievable. It is you know really 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 cool. I like it. Canvas is really awesome, and I would say that it's my favorite song on the album, but I can't pick a favorite song on the album because these are all very very different. You know, Blind is definitely much more of a hip hop sort of track. I think. And then, you know, No Love is more vocal. Because, you know, everyone's, every, every album has to have something that's vocal. Especially when you got someone like Gaio and the Jiyun who can sing like those two can. Like, it would be a waste to not have a song that is more for them than anybody else in the group. And that's awesome. Just overall, with this album, right? 4 Minute decided, or Cube and pro probably even the girls, I would assume, or something like that. They're probably a little, they were able to say like yes or no at the very least to what they were gonna do. And you know, for this, they were like, last year was good. Last year saw it was met with success. We did a really, really good job with what with what came out last year. But we're just gonna turn it all on its head. We're gonna say f it. We don't even care about what happened last year. We're gonna do our own thing. We're gonna we're gonna do something different. And, you know, that's really, really awesome. And that's one of the things that I like from groups. You know, The Legend is the one, is like basically the one group in K-pop these days, especially for like a rookie group, who is just like changing constantly, dramatically from song to song. And I really, really like that. You know, that to me is more of a risk than saying, you know, going with like with XID and like, oh, well, you know, Up and Down was a great song. So we're going to put out Oh Yeah, which is like, you know, up and down 2.0, and then hot pink, which is kind of like up and down 3.0. You know, you know, the groups like XID and that stuff. There's nothing wrong because they put out good music, but it's not a risk. And I don't, you know, the the taking the risk and the the evolution and, and the dramatic changes don't particularly impress me or catch my attention because I've already heard this before. You know, that's just the way it goes. So. You know, 4 Minute Act 7, my final rating is you definitely need to listen to this and I do highly suggest, recommend that you buy it. I do believe it is available on iTunes or it was at a point and then it got pulled down, I don't know, drama and stuff. I'm not too up and in on the drama stuff that's going on. So there you go. Support good music. This is good music. You should buy it. So there you go, my final opinions and thoughts in rating on this album from 4 Minute. I'm going to be buying it with a bunch of others and you'll be seeing it in an unboxing video coming up in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes out for that and be super excited for that. So there you go, that's my album review. I want to know what you thought of this album. What is your favorite song and why? Let me know in the comment box below. Follow me on social media. I've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and more. There's links in the description box below. Click on those and give me a follow. I would appreciate it. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Figure that the first song on an album is going to be you know like something that is kind of like in your face and attention grabbing this song is not in your face in any way it's really kind of i mean it definitely the way i would describe it and the way that probably would be described is it's it's a pop ballad and that's surprising i was not expecting to hear that